It's testing, testing, one, two, three, four, attention! You filthy earth stink beasts, prepare to meet your moosey fate as you embark on the Tokyo Black Hour Death Podcast. <laughs> I am Zim, ready to rain down doom. Welcome back to the Tokyo Black News and Review, episode 168. And we welcome you guys back during the Rona 2022. Man, this motherfucker got some stand power. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. Yeah, I, back in episode fucking 130-something, whenever it was, I was like, man, this shit will be over in a month. There's nothing to worry about. And then now here we are two years later. Now, hold on, it's fucking now. three. Hey, Jamal. <laughs> Now, Brandon, the Ruckers, I always try to warn you niggas, <laughs> but y'all don't believe in the prophecy. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I was like, everybody will be fine. You yeah, know, here we are two years later. I mean, I'm fine, but. This yeah. may be the greatest goddamn pandemic a nigga ever made in a laboratory. I do admit, now that I had that shit and I'm still fighting it, I am sick of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> It's just ridiculous, bro. This type of shit belong in deer. Mm-hmm. This is a this this is an animal born disease that these niggas don't be worried. A deer don't rub his stomach when they got corona. It just keeps going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Stop. Let me. I'm gonna put some clear out there right now. Stop making shit that don't exist. I don't know what the fuck you're trying to do. Just stop it. <laughs> Why can't we live our regular lives? Bro, I was thinking the other day, do you remember how five years ago when you could just go to a bar, spit in somebody's mouth and only catch the flu? <laughs> yeah, those were the good old days. Yeah. yeah, niggas done fucked it up. God damn it, we got a special guest coming in. Dusty just said he was up. Oh, no shit. Hey, niggas done fucked up the regular shit. We can't even get nasty with women no more. Like, for real, bro. Like, what are we doing here? Why are we still making viruses to kill people? Nigga, natural selection will always win. It's free. Niggas got gun violence, all drugs. Nigga, you know how many niggas die from drugs every second? It's a nigga ODing now. (laughs) Fair enough, yes. (laughs) <laughs> there Think is about it, man. Probably somebody ODing at this very minute. And we trying to figure out what the fuck going on with you here, Billy. Just stop it, dude. And it's always white people. Don't blame black people. We may be the scientists who figure it out, but it's always white people. The <laughs> moment you niggas put small pox on blankets, and y'all like, damn, bro, y'all niggas still shitting in platoons or some shit. But y'all had enough technology to put small pox on blankets. To kill the Native American who showed you how to live? Nigga, ruthless, nigga. The northerners. <laughs> the north man. I like to think it's ingenuity. Yeah. It ain't ingenuity for what, nigga? We, we just killing people because, oh, the numbers are too high. We need to pull out another pandemic. Nigga, we ain't had a pandemic in a thousand years. Well, These niggas have fucked up niggas New Year's for three years in a row. <laughs> we may not even have Dragon Con again. Well, I mean, they had it this year. It was just, you know, did, did you run the yeah, roll the dice? Or you, yeah. you heard what I call it spread a con, nigga. No, <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> like, do we go this year? Eh, we'll see. We'll see how the summer starts shaping up, I guess. <laughs> nigga, if it's shaping up the way it's shaping up for the beginning of the year, shit, snake eyes are already on the table, people. Boy, what Nicholas Cage all day long. Snake eyes. Let's get on down to the people who could no longer roll the dice. Death stalks you at every turn. Grandpa. Well, it does. Ah, death, there it is. Death. You remember a few weeks ago when Death was on like a Segway, he can only take one or two people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, sort of that nigga times. came with the mega bus this week. Everybody get a discount mm-hmm. ride. 
Mm-mm. We got 12 people dead. <laughs> he came back with a banana board skateboard. One of the oh, long, yeah. <laughs> long ones. And they came I, with bananas and pajamas and the goddamn, uh, what, what's the monkeys? What, what, what was the other creepy ass shit they made a cartoon from? Gary Shores. No, 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 no. The other shit from the 70s. Did you talk about the banana splits? Yeah, the banana splits and the goddamn oh. bananas in pajama. They came with they sex. Fill them up, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Even Paul Bear said, I can't carry all this. Don't mind that. We got your oh. back, buddy. Tell this nigga got to clean this goddamn chalkboard, boy. He can't he can't dust a nigga off for another two or three months. No more no nobody died for the rest of the year. Goddamn Death came and rode a straight three hundred. <laughs> He's out there trying to impress some chick. Oh yeah, nigga, yeah. Look what first, I just did. First, they like, best. I bet you can't get one more M for twenty twenty two. What's this? <laughs> Betty, Betty White. <laughs> nigga, yeah. watch me. Yeah, you missed Betty you White can. last week. I bet you can't get one right off the rip first week. <laughs> Shit, he got better. So we we not gonna worry about Florida rapper Jay Stash, but he did kill his wife. I mean, his girlfriend, his mother of three, actually. Allegedly. Allegedly, whatever. He's dead. You're you're sorry, SOB, man. An apparent murder suicide. Moving on to TikToker Candice Candy Murley. She died unexpectedly at 36. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Are we the only <laughs> comedy show lead with a murder suicide? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I, I, you know, I read this article. They're like, "Oh my God, the TikTok world! When did TikTok become its own world?" Bro, I don't yeah. know. Every time yeah. I see this shit, I'm like, "This, this no name." Why y'all making an article for this no name? Hey. We hope they do the same for us. <laughs> Legendary radio <laughs> host. We'll say the same thing about us. Yeah. Legendary radio host, Color Chaos from Tokyo Black <laughs> and the Tokyo Black Owl has passed away at nine thousand and two. <laughs> Here Who? he is. To be a nigga making fun of us in fifty years. I I, to I'll just be at home. I'll be making a TikTok video next to you. You'll be you'll be in an iron lung, and I'll be doing a dance. <laughs> like you know, like I'm like I just like that lady. I appreciate that shit. That'll make me happy. <laughs> oh, Shanae. I only got Sh- thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Break it down. Uh, Shanano Shanano Connor, seventeen year old son Shane. He had the longest name I ever seen. So I just broke it down that Shane has passed away. <laughs> Apparently suicide in the hospital. So now she says she's going to sue the hospital because they let her son kill himself because he's supposed to be on suicide watch. I understand? We are yeah. facing COVID. And hell, everybody's short staff now. Right, right. She Moving was facing, on. She was facing ahead. some problems. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, step all over you there, uh, Jamar. But she was facing some mental problems a little while back. I don't know if y'all remember her traipsing on and off Dr. Phil for a couple of episodes. So. Man, you, I, you want to know, I'm going to say this right quick. Sorry. Um, Shane, Sane, who nay. Hey, my, hey, hey, my nigga. You have watched a lot of Dr. Phil, and I love it. He is our Dr. Phil go to. I have never uh, seen the no full shit. episode of Dr. Phil because I can't uh, stand that crap. I'm all over it, man. Dr. Phil gets all those hot, hot uh, guests, like the one hot off the presses. He had Gabby <laughs> Petitio's family on there instantly the whole night. You know? I don't even know who that is. Oh, you know? Oh, well, I ain't even got it. Man. We, we really sorry, Sinead O'Connor. I ain't mean to step over that shit yeah. right there. That's your son. He went, he disappeared, and I guess they found him. I'm just like, man, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Like, ain't up. nobody doing their job. Like, you should have been there. Uh, they can't even get you, they can't even bring a nigga food on time. You think they finna do that job? That's true. Niggas dying in the hospital, bro, because they ain't got enough people working there. And they tell the motherfucker, we firing nurses. Like, nigga, what? Tighten up. Sue the shit out of them. Mm-hmm. Moving on, let's get on down to Kim Miso, a Korean actor. She starred in something called Snowdrop. She died at 29. Pretty lady, though. Don't really say how she died, but I'm going to let Brandon take care of this one. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Kim Miso, everybody. Moving on to Jane Copeland, Broadway <laughs> star and soap opera actress. She dead at 99. I hate to, I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. 
That's where most people are at in 99. Yeah, that is true. Broadway <laughs> soap opera. I am surprised. <clears throat> I'm telling y'all, these niggas live until they 99 years old. A nigga can't live to 29 now. Nigga, you TikTok fame and died three years in your career. Tighten up, nigga. These yeah. old baby boomers got the real juice in them, nigga. They got the juice now. What is the life expectancy of a TikTok influencer? Nigga, 36, nigga, in a quarter. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what about one of doing uh, deadly stunts? No, about 22. a year and a half. <laughs> 23. Yeah. Two seven. Max. <laughs> Y'all want to see me jump this gorge on a Segway? No. <laughs> nigga, don't mind if I do. <laughs> nigga, I'm going to go here and donuts at my partner yard. <laughs> don't do it, T-Bone. <laughs> Moving on to John Bowman died at 64. He served as the Martin sitcom co-creator. Did not know that. It was a white man. And we have seen this man before on a lot of TV. And he was an in living color head writer. Yes, I appreciate this dude. Yeah, yeah, big up. Grim Reaper was a Gina fan. Damn. Mm. Just drink my water on that. (laughs) I mean, to silence the place. (laughs) That's who they kicked out. Well, we gonna respect him because we all love Martin. If you don't love Martin, you got to be a racist, right? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if I do. You don't. You don't have to love all his personas, but not all of them. We love to stand up. We all love to stand up. We can't lie and say we didn't. And if you didn't look at in living color, you also a racist because nigga, we ain't have TV back. We ain't had no cable back then. So everybody looked at in living color. Yeah, he did that famous. You know, remember when we used to go down by the creek skit? Mm, That was him. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's him. That's him. Everybody talks about that skit. Moving on to Greg Robertson, dead at 70 after a battle with uh, Alzheimer. He was the um, Syracuse Orange head coach. This is me not knowing anything about sports, but I'm going to let Brandon take care of this one. Mm. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. uh, It's always been weird to me that there's a team called the Orange Men. What is Orange Man? Dude. I don't know. The Blue Man Group had a own goddamn residency in Las Vegas. Oh, that's their arch enemies. They make me fucking sick. I can't stand it. Why do people put that money on, spend that money on anything? Well, we stay in the hotel. Them nigga did they show every night. When I seen what the is- prices, I said, nigga, what? That was a plane ticket price. I've been Vegas. I came to see some white people with blue paint on play yeah. the bongo. I said, are y'all niggas high? <laughs> Y'all like this shit. This scary ass looking nigga. Like what? Nigga, I ain't on drugs. I see these yeah. niggas. This shit ain't right. <laughs> we gotta get up out of here, John. <laughs> yeah. starting to coat. If you read <laughs> Watchmen, it looks like three Dr. Manhattans out there. Yeah, but not butt naked. They ain't got the physique of <laughs> Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> Please well, don't bring that Dr. Manhattan. More like Dr. Staten. <laughs> yeah, all now, y'all niggas keep your clothes on. I know now, I'm trying to remember, now I'm trying to remember what kind of clothes they do wear. Black and shirts. Oh, okay. Oh, Weird wow. shirts, turtlenecks. Black clothes yeah. and turtlenecks. That's all yeah. that mystery. Better check, better check that paint, bro. Because <laughs> I know y'all be using that shit since the 90s. No, that shit got counseling. <laughs> <laughs> They Let's probably, get on down. They to, probably replaced. Ahead, that was, I was about to say they probably replaced at least two of them. Who could in it positively <laughs> identify anybody in the you know, blue man group? Justin Johnson, yeah. Paint. Oh yeah, <laughs> you need to get checked, bud. <laughs> that lump on your head ain't because you fell. Oh shit! The moving on to Peter. Group. I can't say this dude last name. Peter Bogler Da Vinci. Ogla Da Vinci? I don't know. He was an Oscar-nominated director and champion of Hollywood in the Golden Age. What do you, what, what, what year is the Golden Age? Like the, the, the 40s and 50s? Or the... Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> 30s, well, he died at 82. Okay, so, yeah. I don't know. You know it was the like the days. silent movies was the 20s and 30s, so. Yeah, he did What's Up, Doc, and Paper Moon, and he served as a surrogate film professor, professor for a generation not my generation. You know, nigga Steven <laughs> no, Spielberg. He, yeah, yeah, he, he was he was in that was John Vegas. Carpenter. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like fifties. Not so many people were doing movies in the forties because they were all expected to be over at war, I think. Yeah, that's true too. Fucked up. Moving on to Transformer and Teen Titan. Q 
character design, Derek Watts, dead at age 49. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know this guy, but I do love Transformers and Teen Titans. Mm-hmm. You have anything two. on them, Dusty? Well, this is two Transformer people in uh, two weeks, as y'all recall. Mr. Uh, what was the last guy's name? Osterman? Or... Well, that was I remember. For bringing them to America. I remember, yeah. Brandon. He passed last week. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I'm this just talking about had, the other is, Transformer guy. I respect the hell out of him, but this nigga had no clout. Yeah, some clout, man. It's, <laughs> it's always... If you can get, he made a Teen Titan character. I didn't really go through the whole detail of what the Teen Titan character he created. You can't you know, walk in and stole and say, "Hey, my nigga, I created a Teen Titan." You better get your drunk ass out of here. <laughs> Depends on what store. Yeah, you go to the comic book sign and stuff. He the man. He get all the pussy. Oh yeah, yeah. I, mean, Drag- I draw. I draw yeah. things. Dusty. Drag- Drag- Con bar. <laughs> oh no, I go to Drag Con bar. <laughs> they got them nine o'clock shadows, no costumes. <laughs> well, you know, a drag cutting and half of them niggas ain't fan. Hell, they don't know who real or who ain't. What Kevin you Curry. is? I did Batman. I'm Kevin Conroy. Nigga, Are you Bruce you Willis? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, what my man name is? Are Michael you Val King. Kimmel? Michael yeah. Keegan? <laughs> let's, do, what? let's do a special episode one time just about the famous people we met. Yeah, we should. It'd be like all done in 10 seconds for me. No, oh, no. There's great stories. There's great there's stories. There's Kevin Conroy. There's Val Kilmer. There's, you know, all kinds of stuff from back oh, yeah. then. We can do that all day long. R.P. Mr. Um, Derek Watts. Let's get on down to the last two very sad deaths. One just came like an hour ago. Bob Saget died at 65. He was found unresponsive in his hotel room. Which is always funny because they said it was no foul play. Normally, when a nigga is found unresponsive, it's already too late if he's in his hotel room, right? Bro, yeah, you got to read the rest of it. It says no foul play, but drugs seem to be involved. I don't like y'all going to fuck up this nigga legacy. Why y'all just can't keep that shit out the news? Like, let that nigga die in peace. <laughs> you know, uh, he did yeah, a little speedball and caught the bad ride, nigga. <laughs> So. They already don't sold the picture of that nigga butt naked to the TMZ. TMZ oh, yeah. just ready. <laughs> Soon they oh. get the lawyers to clear that shit. All oh, them pictures gonna be online. Soft pack in the bluff. Man, hell yeah, nigga. You should check that fit now. Hey, bro. Hey, look. If fit now kill this man, hey, bro, y'all need to stop selling that bullshit. Quit buying your drug from niggas you don't know, man. <laughs> Fucking up our goddamn national treasures out here. Yeah, nigga, have you a junket with you to taste the dope before you buy the dope? <laughs> Y'all nigga gotta start being creative. <laughs> Y'all nigga getting them salt packs and walking out of here not alive because you're trying to save a couple hundred dollars. Y'all nigga better start using y'all brain. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like, hey, look, this my man. He do the dope first. What you mean, nigga? If he die, you die. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think I want to give you that pack. I, th- I appreciate it, my nigga. <laughs> Can you imagine tipping the drug dealer and a nigga gave you some bullshit? Uh, yeah, no. Maybe. We don't even have a good drug dealer no more. Brandon had told you guys a story. That a nigga, hey, black people now ain't running behind a white man if he goddamn didn't get his whole sack. They looking at that nigga like he riding off into the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> See you later, buddy. <laughs> Oh yeah, we wasn't going back to shake him down for it. Once, you know, once we realized what had happened, we were like, "Damn, we fucked up." Yeah, and then it been just for a wrap. What, yeah. what happened to the good old days, man? Where you can go outside, take fresh air, nigga don't get killed from COVID. Your drug man appreciated you. Came back to the neighborhood, nigga. You show. I showed it you last week. He got some extra. You know, you don't get none of that nowadays. Selfish as America. Moving yeah. on to the other death. I swear to God, I thought we put this dude in the upper room, but we must have just been talking about him. Sidney Poitier, Sid, Sidney Poitier. Poitier died. Legendary actor and civil rights advocate, dead at 94. I just want to point something out there for you. This whole edit, this whole episode is going to be dedicated to Sidney Poitier. Sidney Poitier. I'm pretty sure you won't like nothing we said, but hey, man, it is what it is. Hey, bro, do you know this man... Made niggas say his name right. You know how much respect. Hey, look, my name ain't sitting there. Put here. 
Nigga, my nigga name is Sydney Portier. It's Sydney French. Portier. And my uncle used to see him in New York all the time, but he did too. We should have put him in the upper room a couple of years ago. But he said Sidney Portier didn't. No nigga, you could not call him a black man. He said, I'm a man. Nothing more. I'm a man, not a white man, not a black man. You call me a man. And I appreciate that. But this whole episode is going to be dedicated to him. Brandon, what do they call me? Call me Mr. Tibbs. So Brandon gonna be throwing that Mr. Tibbs in there all day long. Hey, hey we, are we gonna talk about him later on? You can talk about him now if you want to. <clears throat> well, let me yeah. hey, let me just say something. What happened to Dusty? I'm right here. Oh, okay, listen. <laughs> For all the people who don't know, Sydney put in was the first black man to slap a white man ha. in a movie. God damn it, right. boys. Right. Hey, Brandon, man. as he got done slapping that man, what'd he say? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Oh, These, yeah. that, that shit would have worked better if they slapped that motherfucker and said, they call me Mr. Tibbs. But we got to go back to last week. The Mac was the first nigga slapping all white women, white men on TV. <laughs> hmm? When did goddamn um, He Did the Night come out? The 70s? Mm. Or oh, the 80s? <laughs> Nigga, you got a little, that's the movie when Mr. Tibb came out. Uh, you know what? It's got to be the 80s because in the 70s, uh, that dude was doing Archie Bunker. That's true, too. So, well, let's send all so, those people up to heaven. <laughs> Racing Joe. <laughs> Who are you, nigga? Sitting in Portier. Why, hey, yo, why are you still on this bus? Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> Brandon. When I step to the front of that boy, what did Sitting in Portier say to these? Fine niggas. They call me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> so I want to really be gays. him when I get 94. He had all his teeth in his mouth, but he was goddamn mm-hmm. looking like a champion. In the heat of the night was 1967. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. What about Mr. Tibbs? That's it. 67. Okay, hey, you got to think about it, Jamal. Yeah. The 70s Tibbs. nigga was just slapping white people. This the first man to put a hand in a white man's face on national television. In there, a I love whole, it. in there a whole movie called They Call Me Mr. Tibbs, though? It was like the sequel to In the Heat of the Night, or am I wrong? You might be right. I don't really know. I've never liked In the I Heat of the so. Night. So I think the, it was a Tibbs solo uh, movie. Uh, I'm sorry, Mac, Mr. Tibbs. The Mac was in 1973. Oh, well, there y'all it's go. It's the 70s. Everybody was slapping each other in the 70s. Well, that's when that shit became <laughs> cool. Black <laughs> was also slapping white people, police officers, women, and everybody, too. Nigga, Mr. Tibbs opened up that goddamn oh, um, we appreciate that you, unvoy. Mr. We appreciate you sitting in Portier. Yes, go yeah. ahead, Jamal. So let's get this shit show on the road. These stories are going to be from January the 3rd all the way to January the 9th. You ready to get some of that good old American news? <laughs> hey, Living Brandon. in America. Let's get on down to Dr. Fauci, punk ass. A.K.A. Dr. Grouchy. You know, it, it irritates me every day now. Oh, Lord. So now we got to get to Flurona versus Delta Con. I Delta hate you. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I feel like Herman the Monster. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> what are we doing here, dog? That nigga, that nigga Dr. Fauci, his half finna the start falling out. Is this shit the next plague, my man? No. No. Fortunately, no. Shit. How do you know, nigga? This, I told you, nigga, this shit got staying power. Nigga, this shit had bought furniture and a residency yeah, in dude. every part of the world, nigga. We here to stay. Yeah. Where it is, it bought a futon. <laughs> and it didn't go yeah. anywhere. The worst buy for a, for a lonely nigga ever. I got a futon. Oh, you sleep on a, a cot. I try not to knock it out too hard. Good night. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it. We appreciate everything, Dr. Fauci. And allegedly, allegedly, supposedly, if you get the vac, if you get the vaccine, some women are missing their period. And like Brandon said, hold up, baby, what you mean you miss your period? Fucking <laughs> like mm-hmm. Omicron's going to be causing a lot of stress. Yeah. <laughs> I'm late. What? What you mean you late? late How late? Your watch? Late to your Zoom meeting? Yeah, Mitch. <laughs> How late? <laughs> Let's get on down some matter. 
I may be pregnant on whose watch. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. You Pepper. said the Packers need a new safety. <laughs> I'm running late. <laughs> Black look. When, I, when they go to my girl, I say, hey, baby, I'm late on my period. I'm going to look at her and say, what, Brandon? They call me Mr. Tibbs. It just works. <laughs> you don't need that identity change. <laughs> Let's get on down to uh, Dusty's favorite woman of the year, AOC. Yeah. Dusty loves AOC. Let's not get it twisted. A lot of people think she's sexy. She's fun. Right. She looks totally insane to me in the eyes. Allegedly, she just got COVID, and now she's telling everybody to get your booster. And I look at her and say, they so did you not get your booster? Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> I'm like, so did you not get your booster? Man, don't even worry about what AOC got. <laughs> she came this far. She was in the, you know, she was halfway the out of the ride. rotunda. Yeah, that's exactly where I was going. 30 miles away. She was somewhere in the area. Yeah. She, I need, she was around. I need, right? to see, I need to see the pictures because you be lying and we can't trust your word. She avoided it that day. It's amazing. <laughs> Isn't know. it amazing Isn't how it? quick people forget when they do dumb shit like I'm still, bitch, you lied on national television with fake tears and y'all nigga trust her. She did about what? When she said she was at the Capitol ride, but she was in the office with somebody else. No yeah, 30 miles all. away. Them niggas eat McDonald's shit. Get up on the table. Nigga, make this shit Twitter friendly. <laughs> 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 like I said, I need to see the picture, bro. Cause a lot of the motherfuckers who told me I need to get, I need to, now I need to get my booster. Now Moderna say a fifth booster is needed. I'm like, my nigga, <laughs> how many boosters does one man supposed to take, or one one man supposed to take in one year? It's know. gonna lose its effectiveness, bro. At what? least twelve. Hey. Huh? At least twelve. You need a booster a month, man. Nigga, what? Nigga. Y'all need to- I don't know why everybody didn't stick to the company that's been boosting us for years. Pfizer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got the experience. But no. It, it, it is insane. Everybody's like, Moderna. Moderna. That sounds like a Nissan SUV. I'm going to get it. Or, you know, Johnson & Johnson, they brought us that baby powder talc. It did good. Yeah, it did. It did no, it did not. In the future. <laughs> Oh. I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out because one dude who did AstraZeneca, um, I said, we can't listen to you, nigga. Yo, your whole validation been thrown through the roof, too. Yeah. He's talking about <laughs> Americans. We cannot we cannot boost our way out of this. He said, yeah. we can't afford it. I said, nigga, you made AstraZeneca. I remember you said your shit was at 99 and it was at 52. <laughs> Don't trust you, Jack. <laughs> and no, we cannot boost our way out of everything because now... Because you have flu rona, they want you to get the flu shot, the booster <laughs> shot, the vaccine. How much you take for a nigga fall out and say, man, I, my body tired. From what? I had 92 vaccines this year. Yeah. <laughs> That's more than one a week. Brandon, sing that flu rona song. Don't let the flu rona. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to go with my flu rona. <laughs> I don't get it, man. This is the perfect virus, and I'm going to need that shit to cut it out, bro, because I want to go back outside, my boy, be out there spitting and cracking face and beating them up and shit without having a chance of killing a nigga with right. Rona after we just beat him up in the street. You know what I mean? Okay. Don't you miss the old days? You We can go to the bar, 30 deeps, and just all having a good time. You would be like, yeah, I lost that fight, but, but I did give him Rona. So, <laughs> and the end of the day, really let's move weird. on down to the Daily Mail. <laughs> we haven't talked about Joe Biden in a while because in, in a while because he had nothing to say. But now he you know now he coming back to my he's finna fight on the crown. Nigga, it's too late. We got flu rona. You need to be scratching your head at that one. So while we got a um, pandemic killing everybody, what does the government do? Um, Hit you with something table special. Thirty miles away. That's true too. DailyMail.com. If you use Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App, and you get over six hundred dollars of a payment at one time, it is getting reported to the government, and you have to pay. 
and I and they tell me so all these small businesses can pay their fair share. Nigga, we pay nah. enough. How much Thank we you. gonna goddamn pay? You get our shoes. You get my paycheck first, nigga. How much do we have to keep paying you? <laughs> this is gonna hurt, like you know, little freelancers, the littlest. Yeah. So. yeah. You know what's a bitch? It's like I use Cash App to send my fucking girl over the mortgage money. Yeah, now you nigga, that's a business. That. Now you, yeah. you better send you better send that shit to PayPal and not PayPal Google. <laughs> nigga, yeah. you, you better choose uh what's the other one on everybody Zell, nigga. That's a gift. Zell, <laughs> Zell. Zell. Bruh. Yeah, like this is the dumbest fucking thing. I'm with Jamar. I hate this. Yeah. You already I hate took it. you already took it out. When you f- fucking took my fucking income tax, we you know earned it, saying? right? You know now, you want to get a cut again when I go to spend it? You know? Yes, bro. I want y'all to understand that these fucking inbreeds for the working in government. If a nigga make over six hundred dollars, nigga, what? You telling me you worrying about people making six hundred dollars? Think about that, like nigga, what? So they're saying they're gonna go after people making over six hundred dollars in a year. Yes, nigga. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. This I want it. I need it. I got no, to have I mean, it. If you think about the days back in the days when you might pay somebody to cut your grass or something, now all that's all changed. That's they the all reason why you got for. digital money, nigga. When you had nigga when that yeah, old. Yeah. I know. Right, well, you know, your cousin Jeffro had fourteen grand sitting up You're under right. the mattress. The government couldn't get that money. They like, shit. Let's make debit cards and get all that money. I'm a, I'll stop you when you're wrong, Jamar. I'm just Surprise. putting in. And if you ask, win the lottery for six hundred dollars or more now, they want to know. It is getting reported where it used to didn't get reported. Now they want that money too, sir. Put it out know. there for you. A nigga take more than six hundred dollars me in taxes, nigga. You wanna know if I make an extra six hundred dollars to float bill money, nigga? Eat a dick. Yeah. Fuck it. I don't care. They gonna fuck me anyway. Just put Moving it Moving on. <laughs> Pandemic killing everybody. What these niggas do? Shit, we show. We need that money, Jack. <laughs> hey, when <laughs> when the po hey, when the, when Uncle Sam see you use a Vimmo. They What's up, call my nigga? me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> God damn, nigga, that sounds strong. frightening. It sounds strong. <laughs> uh, so let's move on down. We only got one more story for American News. Fox. This is from FoxNews.com. I'm surprised they even gave you this story. Who loved the Pope? Raise your hand. I mean, I'm indifferent to the Pope. <laughs> I don't know if I love him, but I'm not wishing him ill. Does the will. Pope have children? No, no, they can't. No, 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 no. They, they practice celibacy. All they die the way they came out. Boy, mm-hmm. it's a like I told you. Two things, niggas. Sorry, two things people cannot get rid of. That is eating and getting off, <laughs> and drinking water. Three things. You know what I mean? Those three things go hand and foot. <laughs> you need the motherfuckers. You need it. May not be daily. But ain't no man sitting here at 70 years old ain't never ain't never want to caress something and, you know, get his giblets off. It's just unnatural. This is always the weakest shit ever. <laughs> you can't miss what you never did have. I told a nigga, I said, all this shit on TV, nigga, all these women walking around here, you ain't missing nothing. Mm. This nigga was a virgin till he was 53, 54. Yeah. yeah, he told him that. He told, he told you, man, I get it all the time now. See what yeah, happens when goddamn God get good to you? Let's get on down to the Pope. The Pope criticized a couple. He, now he, he criticized couples who adopt pets instead of children. Call it a form of selfishness. I'm with him. God damn it. Man, everybody don't want no knucklehead ass kid eat through their pocket like little rats. Man, so this is a papal hot take, I think. Yeah, you ain't lying. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hot take. <laughs> bruh, some folks just ain't meant to have kids. You know? You're right. Hey, like, bruh, I'm mad. I, I'm going to tell you something. This, 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 this is my, this is what I'm, I'm standing between that bullshit and I'm looking like, 
Niggas don't want to adopt kids, but they'll put their fucking cat in the stroller. What the fuck are you doing? Dogs are sleeping better than babies in you strollers. Want those, you want those people to have kids? I'm, I'm, I don't think they need to have pets. Your pets came out with no clothes, man. He don't want that be up on at, and shit. At least the pets can't write a book. Well, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> they can't they emancipate themselves either. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I ain't I, mad at you, bro. Everybody don't need kids. But damn, boy, I'm telling you. If I this, asked this, the, this man what? can't have kids. How you going to call somebody else selfish? Oh, he can't help you. Oh, oh God damn, uh, Pope. Well, you know, he's the they're, they're all They're all his kids, kind of. You know? <laughs> I'm talking about the Pope since he's celibate or whatever the, oh, whatever uh, they do. He right. If he ain't got no kids, how can you call somebody else selfish? You know, I ain't thinking about that. You right. I was like, that. get your giblets off, son. Get what you're missing. <laughs> I don't get it, bro. He may have said that. We don't have Everybody, no quote. I wish, I wish he said it. Everybody don't supposed to have kids, and everybody shouldn't have pets. But we keep letting niggas do both. <laughs> right, 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 right. I mean, you saying, you know, we got white ladies milking cats with her titty milk, and I don't even fake. understand that fake. shit. Fake. That was oh, fake. Hey, oh, fake. that was fake, y'all. That was fake. Was it? Yeah, because yeah, you it. know what? No, you know what? Somebody pointed out that lady that was breastfeeding the cat was the same lady that made nachos on her kitchen counter a while back. Remember that How stupid she shit? How she, she, put a, she, she put saran wrap across her whole chick, kitchen counter and then pours out a bunch of bags of chips, pours a bunch of chili on them, a bunch of cheese. Well, I ain't heard together. nothing about that with fake. That bitch got, that bitch got put on the list. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> so, so the nachos on the counter wasn't fake. That was some real. It was real nasty. But then they did the plain thing. That's fake because that's the same woman. You can also tell because the plane's got its all of its blinds drawn in the middle of the day. I'm intrigued by this nachos on the chest shit. I oh, seen that. Shout out out oh, oh y'all saw it. Jamar, you saw it? Yeah, I seen it's that disgusting. shit. Disgusting. Bitch just threw all that shit on the table like some goulash and say, oh, my friend loves nachos. Yeah. Let me tell you something, Jack. If a black man like myself come to your house, one said white person, a bunch of nachos doing COVID, y'all just eat, eat up. Bitch, no. where the plate set? What is this nasty concoction you just throw it on the table and tell my let's eat some nachos? I knew that was fake, man. Didn't you? I knew no. nobody could have meant that shit. Man, I've seen a nigga bring a try to bring an ostrich on a plane. He said it was his support ostrich. You don't know what a motherfucker might do. Nigga brought yeah. pork and pine, a pot belly pig. What the fuck does a pot belly pig sit on a plane? Next to next to you, like, hey, my nigga, can you do anything with him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I like his hat and all, nigga. What you need is switch seats with him. <laughs> Put him close to the aisle because I ain't feeling this shit. That's Mister Poppy Winkle. <laughs> I ain't got shit to do with me, uh, I live in the sir, city, my sir, nigga. Sir, are you sure a pot belly pig can be responsible for opening the door in case of emergency? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> Go ahead, Dad. <laughs> that was it. That was it. I nice. just know the plane crash, nigga. We gonna have I'm some just... bacon, boy. <laughs> Not my buddy, nigga. You better hurry up, nigga. You seen that soccer move? You want to eat ass meat? You want to eat your buddy? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna eat your buddy. Let's get on down to motherfucker giving. We all seen uh, what was a lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always. You never seen a lie? Yes. Yeah, Always like, remember. Ain't he you... good though? Won't he? Will. God gave them people something special. <laughs> he gave them all the meat they can handle. That's right. I read the book too. Did you? Yeah, Man. yeah. Turns the out real totally being the booty meat. It's terrible. <laughs> That's the first thing they eat. Yeah, it's got a, to. It's the thickest. But meat. Yeah. They all make the, the craziest shit is why was this a film that was showed to kids in elementary and middle school? I know. The nigga don't get on a plane and crash. Nigga, you gotta eat butt meat. <laughs> No kidding. <laughs> that's that, how I did, took it. That that's where I was assigned the book. Lesson, yeah. Yeah. They don't show that shit to kids now because they get mortified. They get a weak stomach. I remember looking at this movie saying, why the fuck are we looking at this shit? How many, they weren't even a soccer team. It was a rugby team. And I was like, what the fuck is rugby? And why did all these niggas survive? How you know? This, this movie is insane. Uh, yeah, maybe they edited it for a new generation. And they're like, well, I guess we got to eat Tide Pods. <laughs> like, don't eat Tide Pods. It's a message. Yeah, no, it ain't good, though. 
Go oh, ahead. he will. Sorry to cut you off, Jermaine. This is when God gives him sometimes he take it away. We do appreciate the take it because he is starting off raw this week. USA Today. I have been sick with COVID, so I didn't even get to see this shit. The three men sentenced in a Maude Aubrey case, they have been given goddamn life sentences with no parole. That last nigga, he might. They, they gave him an M-I-G-H-T nigga, maybe. Might. Gave him a lot of he got great guy. hair. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna die in jail. Jack they, oh. they said that last guy could do 30, right? Or 20 or 30. I think well, how old 30 he is? 67? I mean, bro. Hmm? You know, nigga, who knows? Nigga, hey, look. You, them nigga A's doing their whole trial. One of them niggas, I got a son. I'm like, that nigga, he gonna see you in there forever. <laughs> yeah, nigga, right. you should have thought about that shit before you want to fuck with somebody about an empty house. What's the dead bull on how long these guys actually make it though? You think, man? Make... I, I want to put some money on, it, nigga. You think they'll make the whole? Do you think they'll die natural causes? Yeah, yeah the knife, that little sheet metal nigga be shanging up. <laughs> Fuck you mean you ain't got no money, nigga. You're a killer, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is when you should have been listening to Tokyo Your Black episode. Mind your business. Yeah, mind all your business. And then you could be at home eating with your son, nigga, but nah. You're not eating a little uh uh, uh what they call it, what them jail meals, nigga. South Bear <laughs> State <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. Oh no, nah, you know them black folk wait. Come on in here, nigga. Yeah. Well, we've been waiting on y'all, boy. Y'all like to shoot people and call them the N word. Yeah, the Aryan brother, the Aryan Brotherhood don't want you in here either. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You think those guys fucking make it? Hey, Brand, I got five out of them nigga last five years. Huh. Okay. All right, so I got to go, what, over or under? Um. I mean, however you feel, then that's there, you can be a winner. It's a five dollar gig. These niggas gonna be in jail for the rest of their life anyway, so I'd be surprised. <laughs> uh shit. All right, come back to me at the end of the show. I'll have to give this some thought. I'll give them right. twenty years before they get their own necktie. Twenty, uh, that's too long, nigga. The first goddamn prison breakout, you know somebody for to the shank them if they ain't already joined the right people. Oh, I didn't think about them giving themselves the Epstein special. Uh Oof. They, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna break their neck. Nah, and nigga, they don't places. get no special sales. They get the evil population. So you know what time it is. Time get some tattoos, nigga. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, you think the son gonna leave the daddy? Hell no, nah. I can't fuck with you. You in the land up with another man. It's a wrap for you. <laughs> he called me Judah. Yeah. Fuck it, that motherfucker's gonna walk in. This cellmate's gonna tell him. They call me Mr. <laughs> Tibbs. <laughs> Did you have to tell me that with your pants down? <laughs> <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> I tell that nigga what he living at. Let me teach you how to be homeless, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do feel sorry for what they did. This young man should have minded your business. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But you three guys fucked up. Real bad. <laughs> Ain't he good? And we do appreciate God for coming down. Get dragged for the rest of their life. We gonna forget did. about them. You you realize that? <laughs> we will forget about them in, t- in 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 a year and a half. And then they gonna tell you they died in prison. Who? Good. I don't remember, nigga. Brandon got five dollars on the Deadpool. I know he gonna say something like two years. Let's do it. No, I was Let's... thinking of going longer. I'm gonna say ten. All right. It depends on what prison they put them in. They they, they put them in one of them hardcore goddamn population where you only get an hour a Taking day. Taking the right street, nigga. That's just, oh, no, nah, they going to be somewhere down close to home. Oh, yeah, and they get worse down there. <laughs> nah, they might be all right. They in Brunswick, Georgia. Take them, bring them to right street, nigga. It's a different game. <laughs> oh, fuck you mean you ain't got no lunch money, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> And I came at least, I always remember people, quit putting your children on when you fuck up. You know, I got a son. Well, he, 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 he know where to find you. <laughs> <laughs> you can get him a cell phone, too. He can always goddamn send you pictures. He can keep, you know, keep music on his phone and everything. Get him an iPad. Should it be sweet? Put time on his books. Put some money on his book. Make sure the honey bun shit flowing through, you know. 
couple and if your dad tells you he joined an Aryan Brotherhood, just know he gonna be safe for a while. He may not uh, get his uh, own necktie if he joined the Aryan Brotherhood. Yeah, his head he gonna be shaved, my nigga. So don't don't worry about no hair being on. He he gonna be unrecognizable. <laughs> nigga Very have a much so. on his face. That's how you know nigga don't got scared. Like, bro, you got to look at that shit for the rest of your life. My bad. Go ahead, We Mark. appreciate it, God. Let's get on down to another greatest story we got. God is giving us Kane Tanaka. This, I, yeah, this is from um, CNN.com. Kane Tanaka is the world oldest living person. Every time we hear it, it'd be some bullshit. Mm-hmm. We could one minute be a nigga 167 who died in the, in the goddamn in Louisiana. Then they got Mr. Kane Tanaka here. And, he, and Brandon said he looked like a mummy. <laughs> I, th- I thought that was a woman. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's the oldest living person. But yeah, it's definitely a woman. She's what? Oh, her name. A cane Tanaka? Yeah. Yeah. What is she? He's like 119. 100... God, can you imagine? But yeah, man, like. <laughs> she looks <laughs> she every... wrote it rough. She looks every bit of 119. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> like. Bro, it look like she ain't smiled since the first generation. Bro, look at her face, bro. Ain't nothing open on her. Her eyes ain't open. And her mouth ain't even open. I was like, 119, huh? And y'all got her up here sleeping? <laughs> she look like she's sleeping in that picture. She sure does. Yeah. I mean, God bless uh, her. I ain't going to see no 119, so I salute you. But Yeah, I, I salute I told you, too. you. The baby boomers. The only way her eyes gonna open up is she hear what, Brandon? <laughs> they call me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> Nigga, uh, what? They call yeah. me Tanaka. <laughs> uh, for 119. Uh, but, well, can I hear a story, <laughs> Grandma? Nigga, I'm tired of talking. <laughs> Bring me something to drink. Every breath takes a life away from me. Yeah. But she says she's happy. She's happy to be 119. I'm with it. See, she broke a record, bro. Niggas don't even get in the record book. So congratulations, Tanaka. Dude, how many people did she decapitate after be the last one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, boy. It's my own admission shit. Awesome ninja guiding. Yeah, we need them souls, player. <laughs> <laughs> if she make it to 150 looking like one of the uh, <laughs> the resurrected mummies, something going on, boy. She look... She she almost looked like one. You remember the mummy, the very the original one, not the original. The mummy with Brendan Fraser. Yes. When that man sucked all them souls out them people, bro. That's how she looked. Well, she's smiling. I think either that or she farted. I don't really know what happened because <laughs> she had a had a look on her face you could never forget. Yeah, sleep. Do your thing to knock a tail them nigga. They don't know what a hundred. This nigga ain't gonna live to fifty six. You live two generations, nigga. Talk, hey, look, who, I wish he been talking shit like I told him I'm going to live them all. I'm a Highlander. Man, that's a nigga up in heaven like that. Come on up here to knock a quit holding out. <laughs> nigga, please. You should probably owe somebody money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're waiting on her up there. <laughs> get, get, that, get that 50 spot. Yeah, I that need you voted, like, damn. That you voted me since 1907. Like, what do you bury a motherfucker who 119? They got to get a temple, right? <laughs> what uh, you, like you think? That's no temple? Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah. It has to be a pyramid with traps. Oh, yeah. You got to keep that soul. You got to keep that soul dormant, man. You can't be bringing yeah. back. You know, Mom robbed her forever living. Those traps will work forever, too. Yeah. <laughs> forever. Let's get on down to you don't fucked up your money. We just going to move this shit right along. So this is from businessinsider.com. The U.S. government sues. Oh, we got to get back to this. We had, we talked about this story last year when this greasy auto mechanic guy leaves a bunch of greasy pennies on this nice young lady's driveway. Dirty bastard. Now the government is suing him because he did not pay his people overtime. Which yeah. the people don't get the overtime. The government, if the government sue you, they just steal the money from you. Yep. So, so you know you're going to pay them up. He gonna pay them fast. When he yeah. gonna pay them, Brandon? <laughs> Today. Today, man. <laughs> the he U.S. Department, of, yeah, the up. U.S. Department of Labor is suing the company, saying they failed to pay overtime. First yeah. of all, I hate these goddamn these side winders, swindling, flim flam ass goddamn people. We should be able to blow them with a cannon. 
If you gonna flim flam Damn. people and not pay them with their overtime, you we we you, you been my old day when the three stooges when the cannon shoot him in the stomach, that shit ain't gonna happen. We gonna shoot you a cannon that's on fire. And I'm with it. I'm with it. For every nigga that cheat a regular poor motherfucker like me, you get the cannon, Jack. Yeah, nigga, we're gonna take that shirt off, nigga. Ain't nothing gonna block this ball from hitting that stomach. That's right. You know, <laughs> we gonna, we gonna hold you over. Go ahead, Brent. I was about to say, and it's a Fed, so they got like a ninety-eight point five percent fucking conviction rate. So you know what he's gonna have to learn. Let me teach you how to be homeless, my nigga. Man, <laughs> he he made a huge mistake. He, you know, he he had made made some questionable moves, and the next thing you know, he puts himself on the Fed's radar by making the news with ninety-one thousand oily pennies. What this nigga gonna... is the luckiest nigga in America because you know why? Fool, fool, fool. Why? His whole dick move turned into some baby. I, I, that, 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 I, I think I'm going to jail. You know, nigga, we, yeah. gonna, we gonna hold you up like King Kong and shoot you with goddamn cannonballs until you fall apart, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's only right, bro. If you gonna swindle people out of their hard earned money. They should be at a goddamn swing to you out your body part. Who want to shoot next? Me, me. That'd be five dollars. Step right up, my, my man. A nigga wouldn't cheat another person in another business and the rest of like. I want the cannonball. I want the cannonball, Bob. Yeah, you do. I heard you've been cheating Jimmy over there. You're on fifty cents. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Blow his nuts off. I started shooting a nigga with pennies. <laughs> oh, All <nigga>. pennies. <laughs> You gonna put all them oily pennies in that cannon? Oh hell yeah! yeah that, that'll be you gonna, restitution. You gonna look like Swiss cheese? We get finished. <laughs> I'll take that in restitution. You let that nigga shoot him with a penny gun until he done shooting them all up. Yeah, I'm gonna break your back, nigga. We, <laughs> we ain't gonna we ain't gonna be able to put you back together, dog. When they get finished. Oh, cause it's a wrap. Let's move on to some more people don't fuck their money. This is from the business insider. Jermaine has said it several thousand times, a thousand times more. You people need some real friends. I ain't, I ain't mad at this dude. I ain't mad at this dude at all. Japanese man who rents himself out to do nothing for a living say he will reply to chats, but that is it. So what his name is? Sojo? I don't even know how you say Moyamoto. He works as a so-called do-nothing renter man. This nigga have changed the game. Do you realize that people rent him just to go out to eat, to go shopping, and all he do is stand there and listen to you talk. Yeah, and makes very casual conversation. Like, man, yeah. nigga can pay me for that. I do that shit for free. Hey, please, holla at your boy, nigga. You need a friend? Right in Tokyo Black Hour, nigga. I got you. I ain't even gonna charge you steep prices. You think he got a no COVID clause? <laughs> you yeah. can't have COVID and rent me, my friend. <laughs> you know, gotta have that negative cron test twenty four hours before. <laughs> yeah, how lonely is niggas out here? They renting a nigga. Pretty damn. Yeah. Please no. rent me, my nigga. I hey, look. I'm gonna charge you a hundred dollars per three days, nigga. That's starting rate for you. Don't cheat yourself out, nigga. $100 oh, nigga, an hour. You know, nigga, I'll play video games with you. We'll eat that. noodles. We'll go to the restaurant, go bowling. Oh, oh, if it's whole, oh, yeah. Oh, nigga, the whole, hey, look, anybody on Tokyo Black Owl you want to hang out with, right in. We'll charge you a small amount of price. You want to hang out with all of us? We got you. We'll give you a discounted rate. We'll go bowling with you, nigga, top golf, anywhere. <laughs> Throwing axes and shit, yeah, nigga. We'll yeah. go to weddings, bar, bar mitzvah, nigga, whatever yeah. you want. You ain't got no black friends? Come on down. You got, got no you. white friends? Brandon's fit in anywhere. So does Dusty. That's true. Yeah, my nigga. Let's make some moves. I'm mm. with it. Hey, look. We're going to start a page. Look. The Do Nothing crew. Brandon. Do, I'm for well. real. Let's do that. Let's see if some people pay us to hang out with them. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, we're going to hang out in the open. Ain't none of that sex shit coming later on. But you know, motherfucker be trying to swindle you. You want to come to the house and make an extra thousand? Yeah, nigga, drop it on the table right now. Let me think about it. Well, don't. Is you paying me now? Don't mind <laughs> if I do. I'm going to give you a thousand dollar come back to the house with them. And they cash money. <laughs> <laughs> no, it smelled different. 
If a man pays you five hundred dollars, would you go? Would would you hang out with him? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, if we're meeting out at the bar or something, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I'm jumping in your Maserati in the end, nigga. Let my half flow through the fly through the wind. You know, I can see Dusty now. Stephanie, like you ain't hanging out unless I'm with him. Bring Stephanie too. Goddamn, that's extra six hundred dollars, and she ain't cheap, nigga. <laughs> I'm with it. Hey, look, right in. You want to hang out with you? None of that. Come right in, goddammit. Well, hey, we'll discuss prices later. Nigga, I have my mask on. We'll shoot the shit. We'll shoot pool, nigga. We can go bungee jumping. I'm your best friend. You can be my best friend. You want to borrow me for a week? It's a thousand dollars, nigga. Come on now. Two yeah, hours right. a day. Don't cheat in yourself. Oh, don't cheat in yourself. Friendship is expensive. Nigga, I show to every party you have, nigga, and I'll be the life of the party. Long as the money good. Your friend's gonna like me, nigga, because I'm gonna be your actual friend. Long as the money good. He brought a real black person. What's going on, as, fellas? Long as y'all ain't hanging people, long as you ain't in Brunswick, Georgia, or one of these uh, racist ass places, nigga, we can ride. Hey, Brand, they be like, I like him. How long you know him? For a year. All right, buddy. Nigga, what's your name again? It's Greg. Your name, Justin. <laughs> Cooling you up some. That nigga gonna see me. What's your name? Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> that shit right there. Throw every white person off in the room. Moving on to the things dot com. Only fans is out there just popping. Understand this, young people of America. When you take your clothes off online. Somebody else sees it. Somebody will always steal it. Somebody will always try to swindle you out of your money. You can yes. never keep anything private if you're taking your clothes off online. So this is going to go towards Kate Moss, who was a beautiful model. Everybody loves Kate Moss, I assume, right, still? Who was Kate Moss? Some of that, 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 that so-called whatever she thought she was doing? Well, it's Kate Moss model. It's her little sister, Lottie. She cries as her OnlyFans pictures are leaked online by a bad friend. Bruh. And the her phone of, number had raunchy and, you know. In the words of, Hey, Jamal, in the words of my fine colleague, Christian Terry, that look like shit for advertisement. <laughs> I'm just Bruh, saying, dog. Go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't see the pictures. Bro, Jamal, you need, bro, you need to look at the picture. When I tell you this shit look like something in a magazine, you don't like this. This what you fake tearing up to? Bro, it looked like something we used to look into when you get to uh, the Victoria's Secret fucking magazine. Bro, it's clearly nothing. Nothing. When I tell you, Jamal, if you try to look at them pictures and grab yourself, you're going to be upset with yourself or grabbing yourself before you got to the end. Because you're Brandon. Yeah. Did you see those pictures of this this so called crying model about her pictures being leaked? No, I didn't go look at the pictures myself. Bro, saw, why y'all didn't look at it? I saw it. It looked like Victoria's Secret model and shit. She terrible. makes seventy thousand dollars a month. Yeah, bro, I mean, look, man, you know, if those are your private photos, those are your private photos. I feel you. Yeah, but that ain't private, bro. The moment she made you, advertisement, bro, she dropped them bitches herself. Trust me. I'm a the, moment, the moment you sent the moment you send a girl a dick pic, the internet has it forever. The Matrix has it, nigga, and the other people will see it. And Jermaine said she ain't necking it. No, no, it's all advertisement photo. And no, her Chris friend, said, she said her friend leaked it. Who was a bad friend? I'm saying you making seventy, nigga. You can see my junk for seventy thousand dollars a month. <laughs> my, man, nigga, what's I her swing name? that you motherfucker want? around like a goddamn chimney tree. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know how much? You know how long it take a nigga to make seventy thousand dollars? Oh yeah, I windmill that thing. You gonna let me get seventy G now? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I do push up, jumping jacks, whatever the fuck you need. And the world can see it later. I don't give a fuck. Why should I even care? I am 70 grand richer. <laughs> Motherfucker, you ain't pulling your junk out for 70 grand a month. Nigga, is that all? I gotta work, I gotta work 120 hours every two weeks for peanuts. Bro, this bitch is dressed <laughs> up like a mannequin, my nigga. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. What is this whole, what is her name? I, I didn't mean to call her H.O. What's her name? Lottie. Lottie Moss. 
L O T. Oh yeah, I carry that on. I'm just saying, I don't really care if you do anything online. You send any man a naked photo. If you think your shit was impenetrable, like the iPhone, guess what? Everybody's shit leaks eventually, and nobody's shit is saved in the cloud. Moving on. And that's the end of part one. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. Uh, come back Friday for the exciting conclusion of part two.